back from a trip with Manitoba Harvest and it was so great. We did a whole tour of their hemp fields and went through the factory and saw how versatile hemp seeds are. And while I was away, I knew I had a ton of spinach in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna make a riff on a traditional shakshuka and pair it with a hemp seed chimichurri on top. It's gonna be so good. So let's go ahead and start with the chimichurri. So chimichurri is all about the fresh herbs. And I just love going down to my local market and picking up the vibrant greens because I know that they always have the freshest stuff. So chimichurri really is just a mixture of cilantro and parsley, but we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna use Manitoba Harvest hemp seeds. And it's just gonna add this nice kind of creaminess that you usually wouldn't get from a chimichurri. But it's gonna taste great because it also has that earthiness too that's gonna complement the fresh cilantro and parsley. So let's just go ahead and rip, rip it open. Just rip about a cup or so of parsley. That should do it. And then we're going to add a little bit of oil. So chimichurri is a marinade for a lot of meat dishes, but we're actually gonna put it with the egg. So we just put in some rice vinegar and then some flaky sea salt. Oh yeah. Oh my God. This I feel like I'm on a vacation. Whenever I'm making something that has tons of lime juice, tons of fresh herbs, I feel like I'm in Mexico or something right now. Just making some fresh chimichurri. All right, the last thing is the garlic cloves. Take a look at this. Oh my God, look at that. Look how vibrant green this is. I think this is great because we're gonna dollop it on top of the shakshuka right when it's done being finished and cooked. But I gotta taste a little bit. Okay, mm. that is so good. The hemp seeds add such a rich creaminess to it. It's perfect. So let's go ahead and move on and make the shakshuka. So we're gonna turn the stove on. There we go. And we're gonna melt down about a tablespoon and a half or so of ghee. So we're just gonna dollop it in here. It's gonna give so much flavor to all of this. I like using shallots because it's a little bit sweeter than an onion. It doesn't give off that really oniony flavor. So just give it a nice little rough chop. Nothing too crazy. You don't have to be perfect with it. Oh yeah, you can hear a little sizzle going on. That's how you know the pan is hot enough. So let's reduce the heat to about medium or so because we don't want this to burn. We're gonna crack some salt in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and roughly chop this up and add it in too. Okay, add this in here. There we go. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. Give everything a nice mix. I'm gonna add in our cumin. So let's take our mass amount of spinach and go ahead and add it in here. And trust me, it's gonna wilt down, I promise. It looks like a ridiculous amount. Okay, we'll take a break and then add the rest on top. Add a few more cracks to salt too. And at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the hatch chili peppers too. Okay, this is looking really good. Let's drop in the rest of the spinach in here. We're gonna make little wells right in there. Just kind of like move it aside. Okay, so let's take one of the eggs. I'm gonna crack it into our well. There we go, see? The well just kind of contains the egg there. See another one over here. Oh, it looks so nice. Let's add in the last egg. Oops, just crack it in there. Okay, so we're just gonna let this hang out on low for about five minutes. Yeah, this is perfect. Look at this, you guys. I love this. Okay, it's looking great. All we have to do now is just finish off with our toppings. I want a bite of everything in this one spoonful. And a little avocado. Mmm. Mmm, God. All right, you guys, I'm gonna finish this off, but I hope you have a beautiful day, and I hope you make the shakshuka. I'll talk to you later, bye.